Steve's presentation was great. Uh, the inspiration and the words of wisdom and experience that he gave to our young kids, our young student athletes, is really appreciated. I think they took a lot from it. We had a uh, beautiful group of young people here who were at the end of their school day and may have um, easily been distracted and instead they were engaged in what he was saying. This is the first time I ever see my kids that focused on a speaker in a long time. I thought that his speech today was very powerful, uplifting, motivating, and very real. Well, the students called Keeping It 100, but being real in everyday experience about whether not being soft, but having components or attributes that you would want to uh, really instill in other individuals in society. He's definitely um, illustrated that, demonstrated that, verbalized those things when it came down to talking about uh, what it would take to, to be a, con a contributing member in our any society. Well, Stephen's presentation today was really great. It was basically a mapping session for students to realize how they attach their long-term goals to the steps that it takes every day. Um, so whether you were into you know the med medical field, sports, acting, anything like that, it's really about getting students to see how the long term applies to their everyday um, steps at school and in their everyday life. You hear us say all the time, what you have to do, what you have to do, what you have to do, but to, then to hear a professional come back and say, hey, what they're saying is correct. You know, you need that work ethic. Academics are important. Uh, you know, the, w your mindset, the vision, the, that was powerful. To be a vision, to, to envision what it is that you want to do before you actually set out to do it. That was, the, that resonated with me, spoke volumes. His talk wasn't just athletic based, but it was nice because he hooked the boys right away. And then the girls, I liked how he brought them in and their different career ideas and choices. So it's a general talk with goals, choices, and different analogies, but I do like how he brought the boys in right in the beginning. One thing I've noticed or I see all the time, students today cannot handle rejection. They are used to getting everything they want in some kind of way, shape, or form. And the fact that he uh, shared that he was rejected 16 times or cut, and he kept going, I'm hoping the students did pick up on his resiliency and how you, if it's something you really, really want, that you really um, feel passionate about, that you won't quit, you won't let somebody deny you from your dream. The kids that we work with every day, um, many of them don't believe that people really care about them that if it isn't a teacher that works with them every day or their parents, no one cares. They believe that no one cares. So to have somebody like Steve come in and give of his time and share his experiences and keeping it real with them, I think means a whole lot because he was, he lets them know that there are people out there that care what happens to them and, and that they want the best for them and that they believe that they actually are capable and have the talent to do great things. Here at Bogan High School, we have kids from a lot of different diverse backgrounds. Um, you know, challenges at home, challenges within their community, uh, and, and, and the positive energy and the positive reinforcement and the encouragement that Stephen comes in and brings to them. Really, uh, having someone who's been there and, and is doing it uh, and, and sees the game and sees high school and college athletics uh, where these kids aspire to be at the next level and give them some inspiration and encouragement, it's big, big time for them. He's powerful and effective talking to athletes, but I'm also thinking that he would be powerful and effective talking to many kids, not just athletes. I would have him come back and speak to any athlete, any student, because it's just the message, the overall message of want it, go after it, prepare for it, and don't stop until you achieve it. That's what came out of what he said today.